Good morning, this is Ed Wilson, the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and today I want to talk a little bit about PowerShell Module Manifest. So when I use the uh, git uh, module commandlet, I can just start typing part of a name, and what does PowerShell will automatically complete the name when I press the tab key. And so when I press enter, it comes back and it lists uh, the basic information about the module. So PS Read Live, for instance, um, what does PowerShell 5 is version 1.1, it gives me the name, and just a little bit about the exported commands. If I um, take a look at the path uh, to this, uh, then uh, what it tells me is that this particular uh, command or module, um, the path is actually the PSM1 file, the actual module file itself. And uh, on other, uh, and this is because it's a uh, uh, pretty much it's a, a, it's a script module. There are other com uh, modules, however, uh, that when I uh, take a look at those, so like if I um, was to go and look at um, Microsoft uh, PowerShell Management, um, the utility module, if I look at the path to this, then uh, we can see that this points to the actual module manifest itself. Now this is actually pretty cool uh, because this gives me direct path to the module manifest and I can actually use this and actually look at the module manifest itself so I can say get content. And uh, since the module manifest is just basically a text file, then we can actually uh, use get content and pull it out and read it. So for instance, we can see it's um, basically um, the hash table. So we got GUID equals author equals um, company name, copyright. The module version is 3.1. It has a required minimum PowerShell version of 3.0 uh, and a minimum CLR of uh, 4.0. It uh, shows us the command list that it's going to expect and all of that. And then we can also see that um, because this ships with Windows PowerShell that uh, uh, it has a uh, file signature on it to uh, let us know if uh, something was to try to modify or to change this uh, particular file. So that's actually pretty cool. Now uh, one of the things that we can do is um, we can use the test uh, module manifest. So I'm going to clear my screen back, and this time I'm going to say test uh, module manifest. And um, actually, before I do that, I'm just going to go back to my previous command here, where I get the path to the um, to the module, and I'm just go throw this in a variable. That way, I don't have to do so much typing. So now I'm going to say test module manifest, and dollar uh, p, and uh, it comes back. And it shows me that uh, yes, here is uh, in fact my um, module, my uh, the module manifest. It points to the uh, utility module, and so, so when I type this to format list, um, then I can also see now the the actual module manifest. So you know we can see the pipeline details, the uh, name. Uh, the path, notice that the path points to the PSD1 file. Uh, we've got our help, you read some private, uh, private data, version, so forth and so on. So this is the same kind of information that we saw in that uh, text file, but now it's formatted so it's a little bit easier to uh, see. Now uh, there is a property uh, that we can use. Uh, so for instance, if I say um, go back to the um, Git module over here uh, for PS Read Line. Uh, I can uh, look at the uh, module base property, and notice that this points to the folder uh, where that actual um, module resides. And so I can actually use this information if I want to, uh, and go back and process uh, any module manifest that might be there. So I can say Git child item, and um, now I can say that I want to filter. And I want to do a filter on a star.psd1 file. And uh, when I do, hey, there's uh, my module manifest for PS read line. And now I can actually pipe this if I wish to a uh, for each object. Uh, I can type in for each object. Uh, or you know, I can just use the alias, uh, which is the uh, percentage sign, uh, which is what I do when I'm working with the um, 
at the command line. So now then I can just say that I want to test the module manifest. Um, and um, the path for this is going to be, since this is a, a file info object that it returns, it's going to be dollar underscore uh, the full name. And tab expansion is smart enough that it picks this stuff up. And so then uh, when I close this now, then uh, we can come back and we can see there it goes. It uh, finds the module, uh, gives me my information now. And then if I type this to a format list, uh, then once again, we've got this nice output here uh, from um, test module manifest. So I can see the name, the path, the description of it, um, any private data that I had. Uh, notice I told you it was a script module earlier. I just happen to know that. Uh, read write CLR version needs to be four. .NET Framework needs to be four, and um, so forth and so on. Got our exported commands. PowerShell has to be version three point of. And um, so that's it. So the uh, test module manifest commandlet is uh, really really cool. It's new for Windows PowerShell uh, five point on uh, Windows ten. And um, it um, shows the information from a module manifest nicely, quickly, easily, and lets me see all of this stuff. So, my name is Ed Wilson. I'm the Microsoft Scripting Guy, and uh, that's um, messing around with uh, PowerShell module manifests on uh, Windows PowerShell 5. Thank you, and I hope you have a, a great uh, day. Bye bye.